Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this ESP8266 LED matrix clock which can show time, date, temperature, Bitcoin value, wind speed, wind direction and news from the Retrus news info and a custom message you can display in this LED matrix. This is a simple LED matrix clock you can make in a day. You can easily customize this clock according to your needs. Here I have included Bitcoin values, wind speed, wind direction. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. <music> To make this ESP8266 LED matrix clock, first we need to wire the ESP8266 and the LED matrix. As you can see, I am using the jumper cables to wire the module and also using D5, D6 and D7 pins of the ESP8266. A quick note on this, make sure to check the continuity before wiring. This is the Arduino code written by Mark Q. It's a long code as you can see for every client like Bitcoin, News API, Octoprint, Open Weather Map. This is a long code, so I am going to talk about the essential things only over here. First, I have initialized the settings over here for the module. Define the version of the clock, it's 2.1.6. Then I define the host name, configure, and if you have a buzzer, you can attach to the D2 pin of the Arduino. Then we have the constants. For the useful constant, we have the seconds per minute and also seconds per hour. You can define it over here, it's 60 seconds and we have the seconds per hour, it's 3600 and seconds per day equal to seconds per hour into 24. After that, we have the useful macros for setting elapsed time. For the elapsed time, we have the number of the seconds which we have defined over here. Then we have the number of minutes from the timed variable. Then we define number of hours from the time. Then we define elapsed time from the date. Then for the declaration of prototypes, we have the void configuration mode callback for Wi-Fi manager. We have included Wi-Fi manager in the clock, so you can manage the LED matrix using Wi-Fi without entering the password. Then we have the LED settings and the time constant and also the time variable for displaying the time and from the last minute and also epoch time then we enter the news client and we get the news client from here then we enter the weather client after that we have the octoprint which has been from the 3d printer then we have the pi hole client which is used to block unwanted ads in it then we have the bitcoin client which shows the bitcoin value then we set the ESP server which has set to the ESP port and we have the update client. Then we set the HTTP request for the action. Then we have the constant character web actions for one. And we have a simple HTTP configuration over here. Then we change the form to one. And we define the form still the Bitcoin forum. We have three forms. Then we have the currency options. Then we enter the timeout client. Then we enter the void setup. Inside the void setup, we have the serial.begin. It's 115200. Then we have the external light and we serial print number of displays. Then we enter the Wi Fi manager. We initialize the local initialization. Then we set the web server enabled from the server on. And we have the server enabled. Then we have the display refresh count from the message. Let us upload the code so that we check the board and COM port. Then we hit upload. As you can see the code has uploaded and we can see a network port on the airport and we set it as 192.168.0.29. Then we need to configure the clock. For that I click on time configure. This is used to configure the time for the clock. We will get an API key from there. Then we go to open weather map API key. Search for the city. Here I am in Trivandrum. So I search for Trivandrum. Then click on the city. 
and on the http link we can get the city id here it is 1254163 then i copy the key and paste it over here if you need you can click on the tick mark to display date and use metric celsius and you can see the marker trend you can get a custom message and we click save and we need to configure the new api for that i'm using retras then you paste the api key and click on save when once we initialize the configurations you can see we have the setup as hello it is booting up and you can see the date temperature humidity the news everything on the esp8266 from the internet by using the api codes this is a simple project as you can see the code is not much as difficult you can get as many as details you want or you can include or exclude the details by hash putting a hashtag in front of the code i'm making an enclosure by using this form sheet so i cut the pieces then i used hot glue for putting the led metrics then i placed the led metrics alongside i'm using hot glue to stick the form board in place and we put a small hole in the side of the led matrix then i also use hot glue to secure the jumper cables and stick the led matrix and also the nodem sew to the board then i use hot glue at the top of the enclosure to stick the top plate and we have completed making the enclosure This is how you can make your very own DIY LED matrix clock using ESP8266. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.